In this video, I want to talk to you about the three different options you have for manipulating your photos within the editor workspace. As you can see here, I'm currently on the home screen and I need to click on edit to access the editor workspace. Photoshop Elements will go ahead and launch the editor workspace and from here, we have three major options for correcting our photos. We have full edit and this, as you can see here, brings up the effects and the layers panel. It also gives you a whole lot of control within the tool panel and from the menu items as well. This is actually the most thorough way of editing any of your photos within Photoshop Elements. If you're just after a quick and easy way to manipulate your photos, you might want to come across here and choose Quick. As you can see now, we have general fixes where we can apply different smart fix amounts. We have lighting options, and we also have some options for color correcting our photos. We have two other tabs down the bottom here, one for sharpening and one for touching up our photos where we can reduce red eye. We can also whiten teeth, make skies more blue, and also we can create any type of black and white within the image. This can be really helpful when you're just wanting to tweak your images very slightly. If you want an even more guided edit when you're editing your photos, you can come across and use the guided edit. From here, basically, you only need to choose one of the different options from this list. For instance, if I wanted to crop a photo, I'd choose this, and then this panel on the right hand side here will take me through all the different options step by step for cropping a photo. Likewise, if I want to enhance the color of the photo, I just need to come down to Enhance Colors and let Photoshop Elements do all the hard work for me within this guided edit mode. For the most part though, full edit is where we're going to want to be. So I'm going to leave that back on full and that's a look at the three different options we have for manipulating photos within the editor workspace.